video tutorial will show you how to grade assignments in Moodle 2. In this course I've created three different types of assignments. The first is an offline activity, the second is an online text assignment, and the third is an advanced uploading of files type of assignment. I've had my student, Joe Columbia, complete these assignments and so now I'm ready to grade them. To grade the assignments, simply click on the assignment and I'm going to start with assignment 1.1. Because it's an offline activity, there is no actual assignment that's being posted or uploaded by the student. In order to grade this assignment, therefore, I simply click on the View Assignment Grades and Feedback link. Here I can see a list of all of my students and here is Joe Columbia and I can see that he's done the assignment which was to ask him to add a picture to his online profile. It was a simple offline assignment, offline activity. And you can see here is Joe's picture. To grade the assignment I simply click on the grade button and I choose a grade for Joe and I'm going to give him full marks, 5 out of 5. Nice picture, Joe. And I can put in some feedback. Simple feedback for my student Joe. If I check the send notifications box, then as soon as I save changes, the student will receive an email saying that their, their teacher has made comments on this assignment. Otherwise, if I leave it unchecked, they'll receive no email. So I'm just going to leave that unchecked and click Save Changes. And now you can see that Joe's grade has been submitted for this assignment and it's also been uh, put right into the Moodle gradebook for us. So to get to the next assignment, I'm going to navigate by the breadcrumb trail back to my main course page and I'm going to click on assignment 2.1 and you can see this is an online text uh, online text assignment and the question was what are your three favorite features of Moodle and you can see here that Joe's submitted assignment and it says view one submitted assignments I click on the link here is Joe's submission and I can click on it to read it. He has uh, made um, a list of his three favorite features in Moodle. Um, the name, the fact that it works great on my smartphone and iPad and I can check my grades anytime. I'm going to close this window, click on the grade link and I'm going to give him a grade for this and I'm going to choose to give him 9 out of 10 and I'll put a comment in here and just say, Joe, good list, except the first item needed more detail. So I'm being picky. But you can see that this is a great place to give your students some good, um, uh, important feedback for their assignments. Um, and then I'm going to leave the send notifications box unchecked, click save changes, and that grade has been recorded, also entered into the gradebook. I'm going to navigate back to my course page and click on the third assignment, which is the advanced uploading of files assignment. I click on that link. It says submit a brief paper on the history of Moodle and how it got its name. I click on view one submitted assignment and here I can see that Joe Columbia has indeed uploaded a Word document called History of Moodle. So I could click on this and open it up in Word and read it. Um, for the purpose of this tutorial I'm going to say that I already did that and I read his uh, submission and I'm ready to grade it. So I click grade Notice there's a button that says revert to draft, but here's the link here um, if I want to uh, open the file from here. Um, 
I choose a grade to give him, and I'm going to give him 17 out of 20 and say paper was a fairly detailed uh, but you needed a few more references. Uh, I'll say citations and references. Okay, and once again, when I'm done, I can click Save Changes. Notice with the advanced uploading a file that I can add a response file if I wish to do so from here. Uh, so you could add a response file. Um, you could even download the student's uh, document, um, turn on track changes in your word processing program, and upload the file uh, with track changes turned on so the student can see your edits to their document um, if you want to do that as well. So it's, it's a very, very uh, flexible type of assignment. Once you're done, click Save Changes, and you see your grade has been um, recorded here for Joe for assignment 3.1, and we're all done showing you how to grade assignments in Moodle.